I very quickly realized that I am going to have to do this in sections. So this is gonna be the pantry section. Hi, I hope you're having a good day so far. I've been vegan since August 2019. I have gotten a lot of questions regarding what I eat. So I just thought I would take today to go over a few things in my pantry since I recently went grocery shopping. All bread is not vegan. Dave's Killer Bread is all vegan, unless it's one of his honey flavors. Again, some Dave's Killer Bread. I get Smucker's Natural Creamy Peanut Butter. This is just peanuts and salt. A lot of peanut butters actually add palm oil, which is terrible for the environment, namely orangutans. It's just like regular peanut butter, except for better. These shallots are for cooking. Of course, they're vegan. These are super seeds, gourmet pumpkin seeds, and I got this somewhat spicy. These are simply Asia bowls. I got spicy Mongolian, and I got spicy Kung Pao. I like spicy food. I have never actually tried I've never actually tried this brand, but being newly vegan still, I'm constantly trying new, quick, ready-to-go meals to broaden my horizons. I'm going to give these a try just for a quick meal on one of my runaround days. Quinoa is a complete protein, which means it has all the amino acids essential in our body. Quinoa, for me, is a great way to add healthy calories to my diet. So far, I just cook the quinoa and add it to my salad. Next, along the lines of easy, quick meals, I got these. They are all natural, tasty bite is the brand. I got it in Indian. Hana Masala? I don't want to say that wrong. I'm not sure. Don't kill me, please. Oh, I also got the Indian Punjab eggplant. Punjab? Pun I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I've never tried these at all. Got some rice to go with it. Hopefully it's good. Nutritional yeast seasoning is pretty essential when I cook cheesy dishes. Anjumama Original is actually vegan. The buttermilk pancake mix is not vegan. My daughter loves these. Organic chickpea puffs, hippies, the vegan white cheddar flavor. I prefer the sriracha flavor. Those are my favorite snacks, to be honest. My daughter likes them. You may enjoy them. The texture is great. Everybody has different tastes, so I encourage you to give them a try anyway. I got avocados, again, wonderful for you. I use them on my salads and also avocado toast, homemade guacamole, honey. Just for some vegan snack and meal and breakfast option ideas salad dressing. Minced garlic, essential in my cooking. I normally mince my own garlic, but I can't do it anymore. Bananas, fruit in general. I really encourage y'all to try to eat more fruits, try new fruit. I love roasted tomatoes, especially in my noodle dishes. Honey. I use grape tomatoes for my roasted tomatoes because it gives them a nice sweet flavor under the savory. Salads are probably what I eat least, but I do love this salad. I eat lettuce, tomato, cucumber, quinoa, avocado, different dressings. If you want carrots in there, if you want onions in there, if you want vegan croutons in there, there's vegan parmesan, there's vegan... There's so many ways to dress a salad up. Oreos are vegan. What about the cream? What about the chocolate? I don't know what it is, but it's good. I'm just kidding. The more you know. Going along with sweet, I have my Justin's mini peanut butter cups. These are dark chocolate. I know people hear dark chocolate and they think bitter, yucky, nasty. You can sweeten dark chocolate. These are delicious and they are certified vegan. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I was gonna eat one and cut it out the video because I love them, but I'm gonna wait. Self control. These are breakfast bars. The Belvita blueberry is vegan. The Belvita chocolate is vegan. These taste like chocolate Teddy Grahams. Cinnamon sugar ones, these just taste like regular Teddy Grahams. They all contain wheat and soy. Heads up. I've always liked them even before I was vegan. So that was one of the things where I was like, oh my gosh, yay, I can still eat these. For dinner, I'm going to be making vegan stuffed shells. Barilla noodles are vegan. When I'm making a regular pasta dish, I use these noodles. They are Mueller's Hidden Veggie Noodles. There's one serving of vegetables per four ounces of pasta. It's very important for me to check nutritional facts, benefits of each food, ways, pros and cons of different brands, because even if this is vegan and that is vegan and that is vegan, this one might have more sodium, this one might have more protein, this one might have more fiber. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of person I am. So Hidden Veggies. My daughter and I love these fig bars. Apple cinnamon is my daughter's favorite. I like both. This also comes in raspberry and original fig flavor. This is a tomato sauce I'm gonna be using for my shells. I use this, get it to a simmer, add fresh garlic, add more pepper, add basil to it, things like that, just to really bring out some flavor. I have never tried these. These are Ani's Organic Vegan Mac in the cheddar flavor, and this is just creamy sauce. I'm not sure. I also have never tried these. These are Ani's Sour Bunnies. They're gelatin free. Also vegan and sour if you like sour. Sour Patch Kids, they're vegan because they don't use gelatin. Cascadian Farm, vegan cereal. 
Captain Crunch, vegan, all flavors. Lesser Evil, organic popcorn. This is just Himalayan pink salt popcorn, so vegan. Another thing that I was already eating and already loved, Life Cinnamon Stereo, vegan. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, not vegan. A lot of cereal is not vegan. Apple Straws, vegan. Finally, this is Simply 7 Quinoa Chips. And barbecue, vegan. Good texture, good flavor, everything like that, so. This was by no means comprehensive. It was not meant to be comprehensive, but these are just some of the items and staples that you can find in my vegan pantry.